Hey everybody, today I'm going to review Minecraft 1.17 so far. I will give my opinion on everything that has been added in the 1.17 snapshots. One more thing, before this video begins, consider subscribing, as I am trying to hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alright, so I'm going to be kind of reviewing, I guess, the snapshots that have came out so far for 1.17. Just how I feel about them. Uh, I want to talk about the ores first. So, like, the iron, it already has a new texture out. It's on uh, Joppa's Twitter. And I really like the new one. The old one, which is this one, is fine. I just don't really like it. It's way too different from all of these. The gold looks too triangular, I guess. It just has this, like, staircase going on right here. But other than that, I like the gold. Copper is fine. I think there should be more orange than green, maybe. Like, this right here is a good amount of orange and green. And, uh, also down here. But, like, having full green right there, 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 and there is weird. This one's almost fully green, too. Lapis, I like it a lot. It looks a lot like the, uh, texture. Has, like... Parts of it, uh, light blue, parts of it dark blue. It's like a mix, like powder. Diamonds, they never changed, and I like them this way. I mean, if they changed the texture or, like, color on it, I would be fine, but they should keep the shape because they do have merchandise for it. Uh, redstone. Redstone is good. I didn't like the old one where these three pixels weren't there. I don't know what else they changed about it, but I do like the new redstone. Emeralds, they look like they're bleeding out a lot, like... This excess texture should be minimized down. I know that the redstone has it, but it's just very subtle. It's like blended into the gray too, which is better than this green bleeding. And uh, the deep slates, all of them are fine. Except diamond is off by one pixel, as you may know. Gold is a little bit bigger on that orb thing. And yeah, uh, I like all the deep slate orbs, but uh, a thing to talk about on them is that they don't really blend in well with the uh, top of the deep slate. Gold looks alright, except for there, and a little bit up right here. Iron looks fine, but I kind of have to, I kind of have to isolate it to see. These darker parts really uh, stand out. See right here in this corner, it's just very blended in. Uh, lapis, yeah, the darker spots, and uh, diamond. Uh, diamond is fine, really. It's not too bad, but up over here, it's bad. Uh, a little bit down there. Redstone, the bottom part, is... It's just, like, shifted downwards, it looks like, right on this side. But, other than that, it's fine. So, the azalea and flowering azalea, I thought these would be saplings, which, this was the only thing I hated when I saw the uh, showcase at Minecon, because I thought these were going to be saplings, like an oak sapling, and they were going to be very different than saplings. Like, I thought you'd bone meal it with bone meal, and you would get a tree, but you don't get a tree. Um, I don't know if this is going to come later, but um, I hope they don't add that, or at least they change the azalea to look like a sapling, because uh, I really don't like the fact that it's a block, and you can stand on it. And it's a sapling. Well, I don't know if it is a sapling, but if it is, they should make it look like a sapling, not a block. So next I want to talk about kind of like the other blocks that will be in the lush caves. But yeah, there's small drip leaf, which can only be placed in water. It can be bone milled into a big drip leaf and broken into like the stem that can't be bone milled. Big drip leaves, I like them. I like that you can bone meal them as high as you want, I think. Then the moss blocks and the moss carpet, I like them. And it has a carpet variant. Uh, rooted dirt and roots. I like them, but I don't know how they blend in with the dirt, so I'm gonna check that out. Oh, that blends in actually really well. Uh, and this thing, spore blossom, I like it. I mean, a lot of particles. Well, actually, not that many when you think about it. Uh, I do like it though. I wish you could place it on the ground, or maybe on the wall. But if it was on the ground or the wall, it wouldn't emit the downward particles. It would emit, like, maybe that area effect of particles it has. Next up, I want to talk about Deep Slit and all of its variants. So when you mine Deep Slit, you get Cobble Deep Slit, which gets rid of that top texture, which is nice. 
And then you also have all these variants you can craft from cobbled deep slate. Like cobbled walls, cobbled stairs and slabs, polished walls, stairs and slabs, deep slate and bricks, stairs and slabs, tiles, walls, stairs and slabs, and chiseled deep slate. But um, this one actually doesn't come in a uh, variants like it doesn't bring walls stairs or slabs and i don't know if they're gonna add any buttons or pressure plates for uh deep slate but it'd be nice but we do have blackstone which matches all right i mean it's fine but it could probably be better if they added a blackstone variant so in this chest i have all the items or at least all the ones i found for uh 1.17 so far so there's copper ingot, it's just a copper ingot. You'll probably be able to craft the telescope and lightning rods out of it, which I'll get to later. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the texture of it. Uh, and then glow item frame. It's just a glow item frame, it glows. I can give you an example. See, it's glowing. Put an item in it, the item glows too. Bucket of axolotl. Just a bucket of axolotl. And then you have bundle. Yep, you can put stuff in a bundle. It's kind of like an early game shulker box, which I like but it has a feature where it will only stack items, like it will take a stack of items. So say you have a spyglass and it stacks up to one because it can't stack. So if you put that in, it will be full. But if you put in like a thing that's 64, like have 32 of that and 32 of that, uh, you can put both those in, it'll add up and be full. MSS shards, they're cool. I'm pretty sure you craft the spyglass with them. Glow insects, you craft the glow item frame with it. They have a cool texture. And Powder Snow Bucket, a new way to MLG. I like the uh, features it brings and the mechanics it brings. You can wear leather boots and walk on top of it. Candles have also been added. They can float and be lit with flint and steel. They will emit light. And they can also be on cake and be lit. Calcite is a new block that spawns, I believe, around geodes, which contain amethyst. I like the texture, it's pretty smooth, it's kind of like marble. Tuff, which used to spawn around geodes, it does not anymore. It spawns in the deep dark caves, I guess that's what you call them, the caves below uh, Y level zero. They just spawn in those caves to add a mixture. And this is what will spawn around geodes instead of tuff, which is smooth basalt. It was added in this version and I like it. Normal basalt for comparison looks like this. So it's kind of like a mixture between the top texture and the side texture. Block of amethyst, uh, just a block of amethyst really. Has a cool placing sound and you can walk on it and it makes sounds. Budding amethyst, which is kind of like a spawner for amethyst. I don't think you can get it with silk touch and you cannot get it by hand, I know that for sure. But it grows amethyst on it. As you can see before it places over time it grew some amethyst. Here's all the stages of amethyst. Uh, I don't believe amethyst will grow on its own without the, the uh, budding amethyst. Dripstone, it's pretty cool. You can place it upwards and downwards. And I actually didn't know that. You can, like, walk on top of it. I think that's the first uh, X section texture thing that you can walk on top of. As you can see, I'm walking on top of it. Skulk sensor is kind of annoying, but uh, good for redstone. They just take every vibration in the ground, unless there is... Uh, wool. No, they don't hear me. But if I move this, they hear me. Lightning rod is pretty cool. Uh, they attract lightning, so like if I did, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with it. As you can he see, or well, hear, because I didn't catch it on camera, uh, it just got struck by lightning. Pretty cool. So, oh, I forgot one more thing. Tinted glass, it uh, will darken the area inside. So as you can see, it's very dark inside, but I can see outside. Yeah, tinted glass is pretty cool. I like the mechanics of it. I like blocks that bring new mechanics in, such as skulk sensor, lightning rod, amethyst kind of, and uh, the powdered snow stuff, yeah. Oh, and candles, I guess, because, you know, they float. Almost forgot lichen, or lichen, or whatever you want to call it. It emits off a tiny bit of light, and it can be placed on either side of a block. Top, bottom, side, whatever you want. But yeah, that's my overall review of the snapshot so far. They didn't release one this Wednesday as of 
March 3rd, 2021. Uh, hopefully they will release one next Wednesday. But yeah, that's my overall review. Thank you. 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 Thank you.